Hello, this is Dr. Dan Yachter, and I'm here with my beautiful daughter, Juliette, who is five and a half years old. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain some of the things we do uh, with chiropractic and kids, pediatric chiropractic. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few things on uh, Juliet's x-rays and things that we're addressing with her spine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you an adjustment, actually how we adjust kids, how we adjust Juliet. Uh, the things that we're addressing with her spine, with kids we do x-rays, we do different types of analysis at the office. Thermal imaging, EMG, heart rate variability sometimes, but mainly the x-rays to see what's going on. Um, this is Juliet's spine. We've recently taken this. This is September 7th, 2017. And what we're looking at here is there's a shift here on her left hip, and there's a rotation, and it looks like it's dropped, and then there's a, uh, a shift, a curve going off to her left side. I'm gonna be addressing that, and the main reason we address this as chiropractors early on, as they say, as the twig is bent, so grows the tree, we want to address that structure so it doesn't get any worse as she's growing for many reasons. The, multi, the, the main reason why that is an important thing to address is chiropractors, we know that if the spine's out of alignment, especially in this area, we're looking at um, L1, we're looking at T12, T11, T10, T9, that whole area, we have that kink. These areas feed into a lot of organs, particularly the digestive organs, stomach, and whatnot. So um, subluxation is what we're looking for right here. Subluxation, there are multiple ways to look for subluxation and quantify it. One of the tools that we use is x-ray, primarily to see what the alignment of the bones are. Subluxation or when bones are out of alignment, irritating the nerves, interfering with the nerves, inflaming, damaging the nerves, and that actually affects the communication from the brain through the spine out over one of the 31 pair of spinal nerves into the organ systems of the body, into muscles, glands, whatnot. So um, that's a concern, um, subluxation, uh, over time, if left uncared for and unremoved, left unadjusted, um, if the spine is left in that, in that condition, it can cause sickness, disease, illness, it can cause the body to break down and build sick and diseased cells, and over time just lead to sickness and disease, um, and, and, and severely limit quality of life for a child or an adult. Uh, the ways that a child could get supplicated in multiple ones, it's estimated, uh, Larry Webster, uh, the former founder of uh, the International Chiropractic Pediat Pediatric Association said the average child experiences 5,000 impacts before the age of five. Um, kids have all kinds of different traumas, adults over the course of a lifetime, falls, slips, injuries, car accidents, sleeping on the wrong mattress. Um, now we have electronic devices. All these things cause subluxation. So I'm gonna show you actually how we fix it. So the thing we're gonna address right now is the pelvis and the thoracolumbar spine with a chiropractic adjustment. And then the other concern uh, that we're working on in Juliet's neck over the last several months. Yes, her father's a chiropractor, but there have been problems that have developed and I'm working on it right now because she's using a lot of electronics now. She's doing schoolwork. So her neck should be ideally like that. The reason why, when you have a curve in the neck, the cervical lordosis is absolutely critical because it keeps the spinal cord wide open, paint like an artery. If the neck goes straight or it goes forward, it thins out the diameter of the spinal cord and that limits the neurological flow or it messes up the normal conduction, the normal communication from brain electrically out to the body. So we're gonna address that with an adjustment as well um, because we want it to look more like that. So as her father, as her chiropractor, I keep an eye on her spine regularly because she's constantly incur 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 incurring um, micro and macro traumas. It just never stops. So we're constantly uh, vigilant, vigilant in looking at her spine and evaluating her spine. So let's go ahead and jump into the first adjustment. Uh, Juliet, please lie on your stomach right here. Okay. And so we're gonna address the, the pelvic uh, subluxation that we were just looking at right there. That's with the spine, when it was spine, the spine was shifted and rotated off to the left. So we have that, and then we have that thoracolumbar kink, as you remember on the x-rays, it was going this way. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna make an adjustment, and we're gonna put a counterclockwise torque into that area, the thoracic spine. So we're gonna have you take a deep breath in, Juliet, and then breathe all the way out for me. Good, and all the way just like that, good. Lie on your side for me, sweetie. Lie on this side. You're doing great. Good job. Looks like you've done this before, huh? Okay. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to address the pelvis. This is a side posture adjustment. Very light, gentle, just to realign the spine and take that torquing off it. If that's left uncared for, if it's left subluxated as she's growing, it can affect everything going up 
the entire spine sits on the sacrum and the pelvis. It can affect your knees, it can cause knee pain, it can cause a scoliosis to form, it can cause organ dysfunction because these nerves are going out to a lot of different organs as well as we showed you on the chart. So very light, we're gonna just make a, an alignment here. Take a deep breath in and all the way out. Good, just like that. Beautiful, you're doing great. And then lie on your stomach again, okay? Good. And then this one we're doing is we're addressing that cervical lower doses. And it's critical that it's in the right alignment so the spinal cord can remain relaxed, opened, and we have good neurological transmission through there. So what we do, um, we make a very light adjustment. Some kids, we actually only use the uh, light, um, either activator adjusting uh, um, uh, uh, instruments, or we have other instruments that look like this. We can adjust the children very, very lightly and gently with the different instruments, sometimes babies as well, um, that we do adjustments on. Um, with Juliet, I'm gonna go ahead and make um, a hands-on adjustment, light and gentle, but the force is to actually go into the spine to help with the remodeling of that curve we we're just showing you. So it's very light, very gentle, and when we adjust, we don't just do one adjustment, it's just like having braces, it's a training process. So over time, because these things, when they form, Many children who have them, when they come in, if they come in four, five, six, seven years of age, it could have happened years ago. So sometimes it's a training process. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring the spine over a little bit, very gently, just like that, and we're gonna put the force going into that cervical spine, just like that. Excellent, and stay just like that. Boom, good. Excellent, very good. And go ahead and sit up for me. And we're gonna have you face right over here. Juliet, you did great. Did you like that? <laughs> well, she did wonderful. So that's what a chiropractic adjustment looks like. The, that, the reasons why we do a chiropractic adjustment, obviously, again, the brain communicate, communicates life. The brain controls, coordinates, harmonizes, regulates. It, it directs and orchestrates every aspect of health and healing in the human body. When the vertebrae out of alignment, it blocks those signals, blocks the communication, disrupts them, it interferes with them, thus not allowing the body to express full healing potential. And that's what chiropractic is about primarily for children, to allow them to express their fullest life potential. So there you have it. There's a view into what we do for uh, chiropractic pediatrics. Thanks for watching, Dr. Dan Yachter, God bless.